Hello everyone and welcome to Ace Combat 7. I realize over the years I've made countless attempts at creating Ace Combat 5 playthroughs, but plain and simple it was rather difficult to do direct from the PS2 recording and for some reason I'm having major difficulties with emulators right now, so I figure if I'm ever going to finish a series, I might as well just play a game that's already on the PC. And so that's what we're doing. We're going to do, hopefully, a full playthrough of Ace Combat 7, because I'll actually be able to record it relatively easily and in good quality. So, I've already played through Ace Combat 7, so we're going to be doing a restart story. Basically, a new game plus. We're going to be doing this on a normal difficulty. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the Super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up.
Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. It should have been my best to see this piece of junk. Should have built a return too. And so it begins. I'm not going to be kiss, uh, uh, skipping cutscenes because um, Is everyone here. Surely there's someone who hasn't settle seen down. it. I said, settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhin ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? I believe we're getting bombed. There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. All right, so as is uh, typical of a ace combat game, you begin your uh, ace pilot career by shooting down some bombers in what is essentially a surprise attack. No, uh, no, no, uh, nothing under, out of the usual here, I suppose. That said, I'm guilty of not playing Ace Combat 4. Um, I've at least watched Zero, but I don't know all that much about 4. I know there's a lot of references to it, though, and I will point some of them out. Um, basically, this mission, we're just going to be shooting down bombers. So as you can see, I still have all sorts of planes because, well, this one's from a DLC, but I've already completed the game, so we've got all the planes unlocked for the most part. Um, so I'll probably use this playthrough to uh, showcase some of them. I'll try and fly something different-ish in most... Uh, missions. Let's see what the special weapons are on some of these things.
Let's go with Offnir, one of the Belkin Aggressor squadrons from uh, Ace Combat 5. Mage Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Mage Squadron. Trigger, your call sign is Mage 2. Verify and read back. Mage 2, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Mage 2, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. The carrier? Whoa, looks like the harbor's taken a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golden Squadron, it's go time. Your first mistake is assuming I'm going to follow any kind of squadron leader. This we do this my way. Keeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger, I'm the moon man. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Way ahead of you. pretty just waiting to be taken I love how canonically it's like 2019 and uh, we still got a uh, mig 21s and stuff being fielded by Arusia which seems to be a semi first world nation I mean mig 21s are in use today um, Generally not by the richest of nations, though. Mage 2, missile away. Mage 2, targets in range, pair of bombers. That said, Eruja is not exactly a superpower. It's more of a continental power. Let's remember, he's still barely gotten his feet wet. That said, the MiG-21 is a very nice looking plane. I quite like it, if for no other reason than its style. Timing of that was hilarious. Right as I start attempting a post stall maneuver, just to check if this aircraft can do it. Most of these Russian planes can do them. This is HQ. Attention, all combat groups. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus. This is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. Ah, UAVs. I can't tell them apart. Oh, we got a enemy named Ace. Make sure the enemy has lock on you. So much for them.
So obviously the first mission is not exactly all that difficult. I say as I throw away a easy kill. <laughs> It should go without saying that this amount of missiles would be literally impossible in real life. <laughs> so this is not exactly a simulator. Raining bombers. <laughs> to Colin and Mage. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Good going, Mage 2. Black Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. You're gonna see... Uh, enemy pilots do that a lot later in the game. They can do it with a lot less effort than an actual player can. All right, and so concludes the first mission. I, of course, will not be playing replays. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. And so, of course, we got our S rank. We shot down nine Tupolev 95s, 13 MiGs, one named MIG uh, and one Tupolev 160. And we get some money that doesn't matter because I already bought everything in the game. Thus concludes the first mission. <laughs>